Today's question is, do you really need a stabilizer for your bow? Welcome to the Boomer Crew. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you find value in today's video, give it a like. Also, if you guys want to buy some of the stuff that I use in today's video, I'll put links in the top of the description. So the question is, do you need a stabilizer for your bow? The short answer is no, but there are still a few things I think you should know. Today's bows, they're becoming so technologically advanced that you don't really need a stabilizer because they're just becoming so stable and so perfect in a way. Not perfect, but like they're becoming very, very good on their own without like extra stuff like this bow right here this is a vxr this is the matthews 2020 bow and these bows they're becoming so stable on their own this right here is a limb saver s coil and this is what i used on this bow if you look at the size difference of these stabilizers there's a big difference this stabilizer is what i had on my old bow and it didn't really do much of stabilizing the bow but it was more of a quieting and dampening device because you can see it's just it's just rubber it's just a piece of rubber it did the job but it didn't really do much of stabilizing some of your smaller compact bows and youth bows don't have all the uh new uh things on it like the vxr they're kind of louder clunkier and this helps quiet it down so if you're someone who's looking to get your bow quieter this one will work so i said i want to get a new stabilizer for my bow so i got a b stinger hunter extreme i think is what it's called it's an eight inch stabilizer with a bunch of weight in the front it has three weights so i can unscrew them and screw them back in depending on what i want and there's also an allen key up here i could take out and i could put more weights on it i believe this bow originally just had that little stabilizer out here and it didn't even go past the dampening device down here so it really was pointless so do you really need a stabilizer no you don't because i shot this bow basically without one because it wasn't really much of a stabilizer plus this bow is so steady on its own you don't need a stabilizer nonetheless i wanted to get a stabilizer on this because i knew stabilizers no matter the bow still make a difference so i got this b stinger stabilizer and the first time i shot it i was shooting and i was like holy cow that's a stable bow now here's why a stabilizer can be really really important when you're at full draw back here like this you're exerting force in a way you're pulling the bow this way okay so for me originally when i shot the bow would actually kind of want to fall backwards in my hand but when shooting a bow your follow through you want your bow to move that way in a sense okay so i got the stabilizer and now i have weight far out front okay so now when i shoot my bow is going this way after the follow through now what that does at full draw is when i'm like this i'm pulling this way but the stabilizer is pulling the bow this way so it balances it out really perfect so like i said the short answer you don't need a stabilizer you can shoot your bow without a stabilizer lots of people do it but do stabilizers help yes 100 percent they do so if you're someone who's looking for a stabilizer right here are two good options the limb saver s coil it's cheap and it makes your bow quiet if you're shooting a small bow or a compact bow or something this will help you get started it's a good way to start but if you're someone who's looking to go a little bit more advanced and get something a little better and that's actually going to provide some stabilizing right here the Beast stinger hunter extreme i think is what it's called don't quote me on that but beasting hunter okay i'll put a link in the description to both of these that one's about 20 bucks and this one's like 60 bucks okay now there are a few small things that i love about a stabilizer one is it fit, it makes the look it, it just i love the look of it okay two when i'm carrying my bow i like to carry my bow like this walking like this and this right here rests on my forearm so i'm walking and it makes it really easy to carry also, if I wanted to, I could throw this over my shoulders and stuff and carry it like this, which makes it nice if I'm hiking for a little while and holding it with my arm gets pretty tiring. I'm gonna send a few shots down range just so you get an idea of you know the, the stableness of the bow, which you can't really tell on video. I'm at least gonna send a few shots down range. 37 yards, downhill. Hopefully you guys found value in this video. If you did, give it a like. And if you want to check out the stabilizers, go check the links in the description. I'll put them right at the top. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because we've got a lot more videos coming here in the future. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.